you ever have a hard time explaining why Jesus matters so much? We're going to think about that today on Now What Devotion from Trinity Lutheran here at Trinity and Cyrus. One thing I really love about our sanctuary uh, is there's this beautiful image of Jesus. Now, mind you, that's not Jesus. I mean, it's, it's a picture. It's nice. Looks like, you know, somebody from the Midwest kind of with long hair and a beard. But I mean, that's, that's not Jesus. But, but it reminds us. Um, it reminds us that Jesus is at the center of our, literally at the center of our congregation, at the center of what we do. Um, I think sometimes we forget that. It's easy to forget. Um, Jesus even says it himself in our text today, where in the book of Matthew, he's been telling the disciples that um, because he uh, loves us, because he will forgive, because the kingdom of God is coming near, has come near, will be near, and is going to keep on going, because God has changed how God does things with people, everything is different, and it will stay different. And the best the most clear example of that is both Jesus healing and preaching and taking care of people, but ultimately, it's Jesus dying for us. And that can be really hard to explain. That can be hard for people to get anything like, this guy I never met, I don't know. This, this Why does that have anything to do? What, what does that mean? So I'm a father. I have three kids, three boys. I love him so much. I'd do anything for him. I could never give one of them up. I couldn't do it. And we understand and we learn through our experience of getting to know God that what God has done is God has opened up a place for all of us to be okay. God has saved everyone through his son. And the way that happened was that Jesus took on and we don't understand it, by the way. we got to be cautious here. Um, there's a lot of different ways to explain what Jesus did. But ultimately, that's not the point. <laughs> um, the point is that he did it. He died for us. He took on all of that and made it so that we can be with God, that we can cross into that next life, that we can live forever, that we can be saved. And the way we do it is trust the one who died for us. That's how it goes. Get to know him. Not know about him. Get to know him. And that can be hard to explain. It, that's just how it is. It can be hard to explain. As a father of kids, I can't imagine the idea that I would ever give one up. Even to save other people. I'm selfish. I, I'll tell you what, I'm selfish. There's no way I would save anyone else for the sake of my kids. No way. But that's what God has done. I was watching uh, a video the other day. Uh, it's Reggie Dabbs' uh, video about, it's called The Train. I cry every time I watch the thing. But he has this story, and he tells the story of a father saving a train full of people. But he loses his son in the process. And it's a, one of the better analogs I have found um, for trying to tell the story. Jesus actually tells the story, but he tells the story this way. He says, you all, you people, that I love, you people that I'm saving, in Matthew, he says, you're the salt. You're the flavor. You're the thing that keeps the kingdom near. You're the thing that flavors this life and this world so that others can get a glimpse of what the next life that I am dying to save you for, that I have existed and will continue to show up to save you for, this new kingdom you all are the salt that brings that flavor out so that people can get a feel for it in this life. And if salt didn't taste like anything, you wouldn't use it. You know, it's like when uh, you get a cold and, and, and you lose your sense of taste. Boy, it gets hard to eat after a while, doesn't it? Because it doesn't taste good. You hate it. Or maybe if you've had COVID and your flavor changed and your nose changed for a while, you know what that's like. Everything tastes weird. And like, you have a hard time identifying smells again. Jesus is pointing that out. Like, the world will know the character of what I have done for you by how you love others. You're the salt and the light for this world. That's hard to even comprehend, that we play that important of a role. And further, 
that God loved us so much that he gave his son that we would all live. I can't comprehend it. Certainly not as one who has young people in their life that they love. And I have my own kids even, right? Even if you don't have kids, you can imagine what it would be like to give somebody up for the sake of others. It's impossible. What's your thought for this week? What does it mean? How do we show others what God has done by being salt and light? By being that glimpse of the kingdom to come, which means we have to forgive, which means we have to be vulnerable, which means we have to struggle with tough situations and try our best to interpret what God would have us do in this life. Those things are hard. But Jesus died and came back again and encourages us to do it and sends his spirit to help. I'm Pastor Chris. That's your thought for the week. How might you explain Jesus to somebody else? At the very least, how might you show them the kingdom by how you love them? I'm Pastor Chris here at Trinity and Cyrus for Now at Devotions. Signing off for now.